Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the garage. Today we're gonna to be doing a leak down test on our 2001 Honda CRV. If you remember last time, let's see, it's a moment of truth. <laughs> Bro, I think we found it, dude. Oh, yeah. Dude, look at this. We have a problem with a dead cylinder. So we're gonna do a leak down test. What we're gonna need that is our leak down test tool. We gotta to have an air compressor. Uh, let's get over to our busted ass car. At our leak down test that we're going to be using today, what we're gonna be doing is pushing air into the cylinder and then finding out where it's escaping to. We know that this is our problem cylinder, so we're just gonna start right there. Now you can do it on the other ones to see how everything's sealing up, but honestly our compression chest showed everything was good and it was all within range. Uh, this is our dead cylinder, so let's find out what's wrong. All right guys, so the first thing we have to do when we're setting up our leak down test is we need to get the cylinder that we're going to test. We need to get it on top dead center. That's the comp on the compression stroke. That way we know that the exhaust valve is gonna be closed, intake valve is gonna be closed, and uh, it should be holding that 150 PSI pressure. And to do that on this car, it's pretty easy. It's a front wheel drive Honda. And Honda's got our uh, crank bolt right here, easily accessed. Let's we'll go ahead and uh, put this on here and we can turn it over to top dead center here. All right, so this cylinder, we're waiting. We're on the compression stroke. Now we're just waiting for it to get to the top. We'll watch this to see it rise. There we are. Hold it right there. All right, perfect. So now we know we're at the top dead center on the compression stroke. Now we can go ahead and get every thing hooked up and feed some air into these cylinders. Find out where my compression's going, dude. Boom! <laughs> Got a little floppy. Woo -hoo -hoo, boys, two hands when you're handling this guy. China, that, that. Yeah. Y'all watching my videos, dude? Hit that like and subscribe, dog. You get the million of you. Oh, look who we made it back to the garage. Oh, we already got all the work done. No, dude, we did it all. You left us here, man. What'd you guys find out? Well, it turns out this cylinder right here has no compression, which means it puts out no power, which means right now this engine is only running on three cylinders. Surprise, so. Well, anyways, <laughs> you got a big trouble in your engines. We gotta figure it out. So right now we're gonna do a, a leak down compression test on here and see if we can pinpoint where you're losing compression. You come back out here and help us? Yep. All right, guys, so we've got our leak down tester here. Now what this is going to do is we're going to charge the cylinder with air. And it's going to show us how much we're leaking. We already know it's leaking pretty bad because we have no compression. Regardless of what these gauges say, we're going to be able to listen um, in some different areas. Like we have the radiator cap pulled off here. We've got our oil dipstick pulled out here so we can hear any whistling. We've got our spark plugs pulled out in the adjoining cylinders so we can listen to see if um, if it's any air, we're losing any air here. There are air box off to see if we have any air here. If we hear a hissing sound out of this, it's gonna be our intake valve. If we hear a hissing sound out of our oil dipstick tube, it's gonna be the piston rings. If we hear any bubble, have any bubbles coming out of our radiator, it's gonna be a radiator, um, the head gasket. So it's gonna be leaking into our coolant system. And the same thing with the head gasket for the adjoining cylinders to see if anything's coming out those the head gasket isn't sealing up and then of course we're going to go check the back of the muffler area because if we're losing anything out of our exhaust valves then it's going to be coming out right down here so we'll be checking that as well we're going to need to use one tool if you guys watched another video we talked about doing vacuum leaks um this is a, one of my favorite diagnosis tools for engine damage and whatnot is our little stethoscope open up boys we're coming in all right, let's get some air onto these cylinders. We're gonna put 100 PSI into this cylinder. I'm gonna see what the leak down's gonna be. Uh, we're just gonna hook up with our quick connect on our gauges. Then we're gonna hook up to our air compressor supply. For how we're gonna start letting air in. All right guys, so we're at 100 PSI and you can see we have a major air leak here. So now if you come in, we can listen and hear. All right, Dr. Jesse's in the house. Let's take a look and see what we get here. I'm just gonna first gonna put in here, put our hand here. Yeah, there's nothing come out of our intake, no sound, no air, because we're gonna be able to fill 100 PSI, you know, you're gonna be able to fill it. Check these adjoining cylinders. 
I don't hear anything. Oh, uh, do this radiator. No bubbles coming out of the radiator here. So next thing I want to do is check the dipstick. Silent on the dipstick now. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and check our exhaust manifold and this will put any sound that's coming out here up through the stethoscope. So this is all you gotta do right here. And there's definitely a hissing sound coming out of our exhaust manifold, which means, which means that we have a burnt exhaust valve. We can go back and double check that on the muffler. Right back here and Guys, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's making a different sound coming up. And then there's a rush of air that comes out. So we're definitely getting uh, compressed air coming out of our exhaust here. If you wanna take it, I'll do it. All right, Wes is gonna push on the exhaust. Uh, well, Wes is gonna push on the exhaust and we're gonna hear that it's pushing out. Hear that coming out of the edge, forcing it back through here and then out this other cylinder because that one's on the um, exhaust stroke. So now it's the easiest way out is not here since he's blocking it. So we have a bad exhaust valve on this cylinder here. All right guys, well that's it for our leak down test on our Honda CRV diagnosis. We did a compression test, found the dead cylinder, then we just hit it with the leak down test, found that all of our compression is escaping through our exhaust, which means unfortunately we have a bad exhaust valve on this car. So join us next time. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing finished up, project from start to finish with the diagnosis. Next thing we're gonna do is fix it. So I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe.